Hi everyone and welcome back to Fresh Perspective, where we'll be taking another look at life. Yesterday I explored the topic of responsibility and I want to try and take that one step further today. If you missed it, I was talking about channeling our time and energy into four areas, the four areas of our inner world that we actually have complete control over. Those areas are your beliefs, your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions. Those are the things that you have control over. And the more time and energy we invest in those areas, the better we become at controlling them and growing in, in, in uh, our influence in the world. That, doing that actually gives us the biggest return on investment, more than anything else. Uh, everyone benefits. Everything else is a gamble. Putting your time and energy into anything else is a gamble. Watching the news is one of life's biggest slot machines. Millions and millions and millions of people invest time and energy and put the tokens of their time and energy into that slot machine and keep on playing, hoping for a return on investment and wasting time and energy, taking time and energy away from what's really important and can really make a difference that will actually give you a return on investment. These four areas, because you can control that. Everything else, I want to repeat this, is a gamble. So why do we do that? Why do we keep on investing time and energy in the news and social media? Because it seems like it's important. And like a slot machine, we are hoping to get that something that'll make us feel better, that'll help us understand, that'll alleviate our anxiety or boredom. That's why we do that. So we keep on playing that game, but that's like a hoping for a quick fix. It doesn't work. It doesn't give you a return on investment. But if you focus your time and energy and take responsibility for these, two, these four areas, you are able to grow. You are able to, to actually impact more and more people around you. Okay, I understand maybe you'll say, but um, isn't it important to know what's going on in the world? And my answer is it's much more, much more important to understand what's going on in your internal world, to follow that news, to actually analyze it, understand it, and use it. Because the news you get from your inner world the information you get from that inner world is actually something you can control. You can do something about that. Many of the things in the external world, you can do nothing about. Nothing about. But still, we invest time and energy, emotional energy and mental energy, thinking about these things, talking about it. So that's relational energy. Instead of uh, investing in these four areas, we invest in those kind of things. There's no return on investment. And, and please understand, I'm not saying be ignorant. Not at all. There are things happening in the world that's important to know. But to what extent are you investing time and energy in that? That's my big question. So how do we avoid taking responsibility for these four areas, for the things that we really control? This brings us to these two topics. Um, and I want to cover one today, which is We've, we avoid taking responsibility for this inner world by taking responsibility for things that we cannot control. Um, we try and control what other people believe, think, feel, or do. And this is called magical thinking. So magical thinking is the belief that our internal desires, wishes, and thoughts control the external world, which it doesn't. That external world includes other people. You and I cannot control the external world. We cannot control other people. If you've ever been in, in an argument, you know this. You cannot control another person. You can influence another person. And the level of influence you have on another person or the world at large 
is determined by how much control and influence you have on your internal world. Think of any big influencer in the world. Um, I'm immediately thinking of Nelson Mandela. Big investment. Big investment in this in internal world. And it had a massive return on investment, which benefited the whole of South Africa. That's what I mean. So you cannot control another person. You, 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 um, you cannot take responsibility for what they believe, think, feel, or do. But if you want to have influence on other people, learn to control and invest in your internal world. When we don't really know how to influence people, we try to control them. And usually we use two ways. We try to dominate. That is about fear, using fear to control other people. Or we try to manipulate. That is about guilt, using guilt to control other people. That's much different than, than influence. Influence is about inspiring people. How do you inspire another person? Who inspires you? People who have control of the inner world. People who are masters of the inner world. Those are the people that inspire you. And that inspiration can actually have an influence on you. And of course, it's true that our words and actions can have a negative effect on someone else. It can have an effect, for example, on their emotions. But the only way to change that or fix that uh, is, is by focusing on what you can control, which is your beliefs, thoughts, emotions, actions. But often we try to change what the other person believes or thinks, feels or does. So if you're in an argument or you feel that you caused someone hurt or ang angered them, we try and change what they believe about the situation. We ch try and change uh, what they think instead of taking responsibility of what we can control and talking to that person about this world instead of that world. And often when, when people try to give us that responsibility for their inner world, um, we take it when we believe that we can actually control it. And that's a mistake because once again, that takes time and energy away of your inner world. And I want to repeat this, I hope I'm not being too repetitive, but if you invest in your inner world, that control that you gain there actually increases your influence because now you're learning different ways to influence different people, to inspire different people, to meet people on the level they are at and inspire them to level up, to move with you, to do better. Okay, so that's... That's magical thinking. And tomorrow I'll explore another way that we um, avoid responsibility. And I hope, you, I hope you'll um, join me again. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and share. Share if you think anyone that you know might benefit from this. Um, share. So that's it from me for today. And remember, if you change your mind, you can change your life. Until next time, cheers.